Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. This is going to be a little bit of a quick video. Uh, I've done updates like this before. You've seen in the title, we're talking about sales that are happening to micro SD cards that you might want to buy for your Nintendo Switch. Now is as good a time as ever to upgrade, especially if you're willing to purchase off Amazon. They are having their Prime Day sales. Now these sales are exclusive for Amazon Prime members, but as always, I will note that Amazon does hand out free 30-day Amazon Prime sales, so you don't even have to spend any money on an Amazon Prime account to actually take advantage of these deals. Obviously, you can also get free accounts if you happen to be a college student and other methods as well that you'll find out when you sign up. Now, uh, these deals are the cheapest prices these ca these cards have ever been. Uh, finally, we have, you know, the 512 is actually in an affordable range, I would argue. Uh, even the one terabyte has come down. Not that you're interested in that, but I'll show it to you guys anyways. Uh, so let's just show you what the deals are and I'll have links to each one of the cards that you might be interested in down in the, the description with prices. These prices should be holding for the next 30 plus hours or so and then they'll shoot back up to their regular prices. Uh, but I'll give you an idea what the regular prices are because even the regular prices are slashed from the original. Uh, so let's just take a look. So as you'll see here, uh, the 400 gigabyte is the one I have highlighted because that is actually the one I'm considering purchasing for myself. Uh, it is on sale right now for $44.99, which is the cheapest it's ever been on Amazon. Uh, what's crazy is like a year ago, it was almost double that price on, on Prime Day. So isn't it nuts to see a year later uh, that micro SD card has actually come down that low uh, for the next uh, 39 hours or so, as it says over here. Um, the 512. This one is cool because this one is usually retailing at $150. It says their price $149.99. It is retailing for under a hundred dollars so that is really really cool it's really retailing right at a hundred dollars let's be honest uh but that is definitely affordable so if you're at someone with 400 and you're looking to upgrade to 512 because the next step up in 512 is a terabyte and yes the terabyte is on sale it is not displayed here but the one terabyte micro sd card is actually running 340 dollars which is like 150 bucks off or something so i'll put a link to the one terabyte one down in the description if anyone wants to buy it i still think 340 bucks is a bit much more than a bit much it's more than the a, a switch uh to get it but uh it does exist so we got the 512 at 99 we got the 400 at 44.99 next up is the 256 uh this is a very popular uh range to get for your uh, switch if you use a combination of digital and physical purchases I find that the 256 is actually a nice range to get you by for multiple years. That's currently what was in my Switch before I gave that micro SD card to my son for his Switch. So that's why I'm actually looking into buying a micro SD card myself. And I'm leaning towards the 400 gigabyte just because I know I had too many digital purchases, too many AAA digital purchases that were filling up the 256. So I, I need to upgrade to that 400. Uh, and if for some reason that's not your cup of tea, you could get the 200 for 31.99. But again, that's not really a Prime Day sale. That's why the 200 one you see here is more expensive than the 256 because the 200 gigabyte one is actually not on sale for amazon prime days so the 256 on sale through prime days is coming down below the 200 gigabytes obviously uh the sale that they have for prime days and the 128 is not that big uh the 128 usually is around the 20 dollar mark uh so it is slightly cheaper uh, i don't know that that's as big of a deal if you just want a little minor upgrade 13 that's not that's not on sale either for the 64 uh the 32 gig uh, is 797. I would never suggest anyone gets a 16. Uh, the 16, 32 uh, are not sizes I would ever suggest anyone gets for Switch. The lowest I would go is to the 64 gig. Uh, just my personal opinion. Now these are all officially supported by Amazon and Sandus. These are real micro SD cards. These are not the fake ones. Uh, so that's why the reviews are at four and a half stars because this is legit stuff right here. Again, the one I suggest. Right now, if you want the best bang for your buck, it is the 400 gigabyte one. However, it's hard to argue with 256 for $30. So uh, there you guys go. It's out there. If you guys would like to upgrade, if you find you have the 400 and you're running out of room and you want the 512, I mean, I don't know if 100 bucks is reasonable to you, but I, there you go. Now, obviously, a year from now, that price might be sliced in half, but maybe you don't have a year to wait for the 512. So anyways, you guys, uh, go down and purchase them. Nice, quick, short, sweet video. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know about more of these deals uh, because I know storage is a big thing with Switch. All of us, even if you buy physically, are going to need external storage at some point. Uh, so since I need to purchase one for my Switch, why not share what I am looking at right now for my Prime deals with all of you guys? And again, personally, 
I'm going with this 400 gigabyte one uh, for $44.99. Um, yeah, I think I'm actually buying it today. So, all right, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video. Yeah.